We tried to we tried to find this trail yesterday of um I was like, I think I found this trail, it'll take us down to the lake. We don't have to pay for to get in. We just get down, we're just like in the woods and it's a dead end. And then I start going through the sticks. It was a double dead end. So I might bring a chainsaw and I'm gonna hack through it today. Really? Hey, what? How much of my butt did you get in there? Maybe just a little bit. How well do you know me now? Pretty well. Is there a pirate back there? Maybe. It's a private pirate. Alright, I'm gonna get my gear on. Everybody pack up a towel. We're going in the water after. Yes. Yes. Actually, it couldn't be that bad. As long as I'm able to manage. First, I have to do six miles at uh, like 5.43 pace. And then I have to do two miles afterwards at probably 5.30 or under. So, I'm hoping that after all that crazy shit we did yesterday that I'm feeling good. we am going pretty fucking hard. morning. I slept for 7 hours and 37 minutes. Thanks, Junto. I know I'm great. I took the guys, check this out. I took the guys up this hill right here. See that? That's a thousand feet of vertical in 0.8 miles. Thousand, thousand feet. Thousand eighty feet. And it's just as painful as all hell. Straight vert, and then we came back down and around. So that was that was two days ago. Yesterday we climbed up Strawberry Peak. Now we're gonna do tempo runs. So everyone's legs are pretty zapped, if I had to guess. You guys ready? A we'll warm up run.
Uh, ow. My legs are so sore from what we've been doing the past couple days. It's not even in my lungs. <coughs> my legs are fucking dead though. Ah. Uh. Lord. That hurts. I don't know if you noticed this, but on the way back, there's a slight uphill the whole time. Every step's just like, <laughs> hamstring. But it's good, this is like, we're on pace. I just ran 30, uh, six miles in 35.09. And we're at 3,600 feet. It's not like really to totally noticeable, but if you get on sea level, it's just all about shaving off seconds and then it all adds up. So, it's nice, these shoes feel nice. First time running in them. Um, now I just gotta get these two miles out of my system. Hey, yeah, Paul! I'm fucking over this. Running sucks. All right, brother. All right, thanks guys. You guys ready? Everything is gone for my legs. Everything. Pray for me. Oh. Did it hurt you guys too, or am I the only pussy in the bunch? What's my forearms kind of sore. I was, I was hurt on the fucking oh, head. Yes. Oh, dude. It really hit me on that second, the start of the second one. It was like the first maybe quarter mile. It felt nice, and then after that, it was just like. Oh, I have to say my heart rate was a lot lower than I thought it would be. Partially probably because of these shoes. But I just <laughs> I could not gas pedal it today. Oh. You're bouncing. That's not fucking fun. What kind of shoes are those? Super duper runner sliders. 10,000 max. <laughs> Super duper runner sliders. Marshmallow with a plate of barbie. Uh, Dolphin, Dolphin Pros. Go Fasters. Go Fasters? Go Fasters. <laughs> it's basically legal cheating. Marshmallow. They have carbon fiber plates in these things. Oh, no shit. Yeah. I mean, I feel conflicted about it but because I'm trying to set a record that everyone's used, like, people are all using these things. I'm cool with it, but yeah. Otherwise, like, it's kind of puts a shame on the, the guys who had to run in, like, shitty flats back in the day, and now yeah. you can have carbon fiber bouncers in your shoes. Yeah. It's stupid. So, I'm Kyle Coconos. Caleb Yates. Uh, I'm from Texas. I am from uh, Jefferson City, Tennessee, uh, born and raised, um, but now currently living in Dallas, Texas. Yeah, kind of got linked up with Hunter, um, following him back probably a year ago, like straight in the beginning of COVID, uh, joined House. So that's kind of how I got to know him. Uh, I've actually been following Hunter since, well, around the time that I started Spartan Racing, and he's always been someone I've looked up to. I've met him. Uh, uh, tons of times up in Tahoe. We've done case race together. Um, we were at the Beat Elite house. Uh, so we, we've known each other off and on for a while. Um, Broken Skull Challenge. Um, I was there. He was the defending champion when I was there. That's, that's just one of those things I saw he posted. And I was like, you know, this perfect opportunity. Quit my job uh, two days before he actually posted the, the uh, invite. I was like, everything just fell perfectly for me. I guess at High Rocks, met him just at a bar uh, in Dallas after doing High Rocks. Uh, we got to talking and just like had a fun time with all those guys. It was a late night, we had a lot to drink and it was just, you know, he was kind of telling me the ideas of this. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I've been a devout like house follower for the last 12 months. I, I joined it um, in April during COVID and prior to that really didn't have much like of a motivation to get in the gym it was more like an hour deal at a what i'll call like a mirror gym mm -hmm. 
and uh, didn't really have any goals, but he kind of filled me in on high rocks, and there's obviously like the Murph training, and that was really when I started getting into it. Um, but that's where I first kind of met Hunter, and then like have made a complete transformation in 12 months, really. Like did my first high rocks there in Dallas a month ago, now gonna go do Chicago, and uh, yeah. That's, that's why I'm here, training for High Rocks. That's, that's the next on the docket. I had a uh, nine to five job, which was a telecommunication job, and I hated my life. Just absolutely hated it. Uh, and so I just, one day, didn't want to do it anymore, so I quit. So how has it been training up here with all the guys? It's good, man. All the uh, elevation is something I'm not used to. Like all the mountain runs and whatnot, like, I've basically been staring at Hunter and Caleb's shoes the whole weekend. Those are tough guys to keep up with. But uh, yeah, my legs are wrecked from it all, but it's like, it's just a whole nother level of intensity. And when you're training with, especially with a guy who has kind of written all the workouts and programs I've been following for the last, you know, really 12 months. Mm -hmm. Uh, and but now training here with him, like I'm just learning so much more about what's going in to all these programs, kind of all the knowledge he has, and all the you know people he has that have influenced him, and just kind of really just the man behind the the, the programs he's set forth, and it's it's been intense. Yeah. Experience up here, it brings me back to my childhood. Honestly, we we grew up on some some land with a bunch of trees, a bunch of uh, forests in the backyard. And uh, it just it brings me back to just being a kid again, you know, like going out and, and playing paintball in the woods and just enjoying life uh, and not having to worry about what other people are doing in their lives and working stoplight or working uh, on going to somewhere you want to train, but you have to sit in traffic to get there. Here you can just walk outside and go train. And that's one of my favorite things. It's just it's it's a primal feeling. What's a typical day look like at training camp? So it's like, it doesn't stop. Like, it's like, you don't just like get up, go do a workout and end. So it's like, wake up, crush some Cheerios, you get in the car and you almost get into like a million wrecks with the mountain, driving like 80 miles an hour. And, uh, but you just trust Hunter wherever he's taking you. So he takes you to the bottom of this mountain and just says, yeah, just keep following this path. I'm gonna get up it in about 15, 20 minutes, and it's gonna be about an hour of work. And uh, you just look for his footsteps once you lose him. And, uh, and then, so it's about an hour of, of good mountain, like hiking, running, and then we'll come back here. We definitely grub out pretty hard. And then probably a bunch of like work around the house, I guess. We've been chopping a bunch of lumber we have uh, been doing some fixing up in the house, and uh, then we'll watch like a, or we'll take like a little 30 minute nap, rest. Then we'll go crush weights in the afternoon. And um, you're pretty exhausted by then. So then after that, let's think, we, then we just start thinking about what the heck we're gonna eat for dinner. And uh, definitely an ice bath hot tub back and forth played a little paintball yesterday which was awesome uh i got wrecked by nick got wrecked by hunter got wrecked by caleb <laughs> it's my first paintball experience uh we're not gonna do that one again <laughs> i'll take over the camera for that um and then you know just have like a great big feast and just enjoy like all the hard work we put in for the day um and then, you know, watch like a sick action movie or something. We watched The Edge, highly recommend it. Um, yeah, and then you just fall asleep. You get your rest. Typical day looks like uh, you're waking up um, between 5.30, 6.30, depending on who you are as a person. Um, and then we start training around 7.30. Um, it's either going to be an easy run or just a, just a hard effort run. Each easy run so far has been up a mountain. So uh, I don't know what easy is in terms to Hunter. Uh, and then get back, do some yard work, um, fix up the house a little bit, make it look a little nice. And then around 2.30, 3 o'clock, we go into the gym and get our little uh, hard effort uh, gym session. After that, we relax, we grill, we ice bath, we hot tub, 
and just enjoy the rest of the evening and then do it all over again the next morning. Funniest experience. Let's think here. See, I want to talk about the Harvard guy. Oh, that, that, that dude, Harvard dude. Oh man, I don't know if we should talk, talk about that guy. He might get fired. The Harvard guy would definitely be like top three. Yeah. <laughs> There's a Harvard professor out there running on thin ice. <laughs> that whole night, so like two nights ago, we had the craziest night, and we were literally just going to get Mexican food, and and we had these girls drop a note by our table, and they wanted to talk to these four guys with mustaches, and they were all, uh, they would say this, they were all gothic girls. And uh, <laughs> actually ended up being really cool, really uh, nice, just genuine people. Shout out to them. Then the guy next to us was wearing, like I was telling you, Harvard hat, shirt, pants, socks, shoes, lanyard, and saying the most absurd things I've heard in a 30-minute sit-down at a Mexican joint. Uh, none of that can be repeated on camera. And then we watched some lady on the side of the road after we were leaving dinner bang in her husband's door. And uh, yeah, it was like a super eventful night. Like bang it? Oh yeah. No, like, oh no, no, yeah, like bang it. She was like, took a couple, couple right hooks, definitely got like a shoulder in there and a couple kicks and uh, yelled some absurd things. And then, uh, yeah, it was, we made sure the situation was controlled, and it was, and that was definitely the highlight of it. Uh, uh, my favorite part so far has been smoking Kyle with a couple paintballs while he was hunkered down behind a tree. So we were up in the woods, up in this little mountain area up here, and uh, I see Kyle, it's me and Hunter versus Kyle and Polly. And that's <laughs> a little, that little hornet's trying to get Nick right now. And uh, he was hunkered down behind a tree, never been shot by a paintball before so it was my goal to hit him first like i really wanted to pop his cherry and uh he was up there just firing at hunter and i'll get my way around him and uh, i make my way just kind of positioned behind him and he's exposed to me i'm just like oh fuck yeah let's do this so i crank it up and just pop him i missed i was like shit i gotta do it again pop it again and i hit him all you hear is fuck <laughs> and then someone in the background yells does it hurt and then him goes yep <laughs> <laughs> and then he just yells, fuck this, as he's getting hammered by paintballs and is just sprinting away. Uh, so that was, that was uh, a little story behind that one. I got to pop uh, old Kyle's cherry. Oh man, this place, especially like coming from Texas, so it feels like you're in Colorado. It really does. Like you're surrounded by fog in the morning. And then you get out and you see these beautiful views and you're above the clouds on runs. I mean, it's like, it's way more than I anticipated. I also knew no information. I was like, just give me an address. I want to come train for, for a week. And uh, I would rate it at 11. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, don't come out here unless you're a hard motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, slap, fucking swat, swat it! <laughs> Look at the smoke coming over me. God, is he on me? What's your workout? Exercise Uh, So we're gonna do a bodybuilding circuit, which I usually do once a week just to make sure we keep strength and mass together. And the whole goal is basically to do a lot of work in a short period of time and can continue to like add intensity until you kind of hit that breaking point. And I always want to stay within like 90% of my maxes when I'm doing these sessions at the very end just to know that I'm not losing strength. So it's a mixture of like strength endurance and just getting fucking juicy pythons. <laughs> not today though, this one looks a little small. <laughs> I haven't eaten enough yogurt. All right? <laughs> Edit that out, Nick. But it's pretty fun. You pick four movements and you just jam on them. And it's really good to have a training group because you just get Everybody working together at pretty high intensity. Keep the reps low, keep the intensity high, and everybody just gets there. So we're just following you? Yeah.
Same. It's kind of chilly out here. Are my nipples hard? Nice. All right, guys. So that's the wrap of basically training camp 1.0. You're going to see more of these videos. If you want to see more of them, like, comment, tell us all about it down below because that's the most important part so we can get to kind of make this channel more fun for all of us. So if you watch this, guys, we're training our asses off. We're working towards high rocks. We're working towards the marathon. We got some incredible athletes here. I'm inspired every day by the opportunities. Um, obviously, I'm going to keep on trying to teach you guys everything that I've learned on my own through this channel. Uh, basically, my, my quickest tips for you guys is make sure you're training with intention. Have your hard days, have your easy days. You know, Don't just have those days where you go into the gym and just sweat for no reason. I would say eat more than you think you should. You know, Fat people overeat. You should be you know, basically overeating those fat people and training fucking twice as hard. Screw those fat people. They can't beat you. Um, that was kind of rude. If you're fat, I'm sorry. You should join the program. This is your fault. Uh, but other than that, guys, you're going to be catching us out here in the streets. We're up here in Cedar Pines, Lake Gregory. Come find us. Come train hard. Come have a blast. We'll be catching up soon. So, am I going to get in trouble for that fat thing? Nah. 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 Alright. Bye. <laughs>